What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. <clears throat> Swifty Blizzu. What's going on? Why am I not surprised, man? Why am I not shocked? Let me start this again by saying I don't have a problem with Swifty. But did you guys see the newest, well, one of the newest uh, Crazy Hood Media shorts? If you didn't, go and check it out for a second and then come on back. Swifty Blue is in a car with Chito Ranas. Yes, I know your head exploded. Those of you that are into it. With all the dissing that's been going up, you know. He's in a, he's in a, a car. And there's a song playing in the background. I guess it's Swifty Blue is dissing Lazy Boy. And Swifty Blue is, is throwing up gang signs. Wow. What are you in your 30s, big dog? And you're a rapper. You're, you're in your 30s and you're a rapper. And you're throwing up gang signs. Wow. Amazing. Tough. That's tough. That's, that's impressive, eh? Very impressive with an Edgar haircut. In your 30s, throwing up game. Where are you trying to fit in, homie? Where? And then you throw up, you, you throw up, you, and you yell, NK. Like, if you could really rap, you don't need to get into all this gimmicky shit. So you guys are in a car. Hopefully you're headed to Northern California in that car. Hopefully that's where you're going. That it's not just talk for the camera. You know what I mean? Like you guys are really on headed to Sacramento where Chito's from. I got nothing against Chito or, or, or Swifty. But hopefully that's where you're headed. And that's why you're yelling and screaming. You're all pumped up. Baby. But I have a feeling you're not. I have a feeling you're just driving around. And you're banging for the gram. Say it. The gram. You're taking L's, homes. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe these youngsters get, oh, fuck, Swifty. He's with Chito. Oh. But to dudes that are really like in the streets, they look bad on, on you, obviously, but that shit rubs off on Chito. Now, the worst part, at least to me, the way I think, the worst part is, what has it been? Almost a year? Almost a year, eh? Where there's been a lot of people saying a lot of things about you, Swifty. And you haven't been out in California, nah. You know, whatever, maybe your issues, you know, whatever they are or whatever it was, it's, it's, it's settled now. We know how that gets settled. But maybe it's settled now, right? But when it wasn't, it was a person from Northern California who showed you more love than anyone in your life. You know that. And a lot of us behind the scenes know that. It was a person from Northern California. When everyone turned their back on you, everyone shit on your name, spit on your name from Southern California. All your so-called homies, your rap friends. None of them wanted to be around you. And it was a dude from Northern California. Hmm. So I would take it, you burnt that bridge, eh? And see, the thing about you, Swifty Blue, is you tend to let your mouth overload your ass on a regular basis. <sighs> Whatever happened to make you feel like, you, you know, you're comfortable again, you will offend those people again or that person. 
you will fuck it off again. Because see, you don't know how. You, you know, at the age you are, you don't know who you are. And so you see other people doing shit and you go and do that. Other people over here doing, oh, damn, I probably got to do that. Instead of getting in the studio, stay your fat ass out of the streets, man. Get in the studio. People say you got talent. I've heard a couple songs. I'm like, all right, that sounds cool. But there's other people that like that kind of rap. And they're like, hey, Holmes, he could, he could really get down. Well, then get in the studio and get down and let that do the talking. Or go get a job at In-N-Out, homie. They'll start you at 20 bucks an hour. But do something. Generate money. Get some positive stuff in your life, man. Quit trying to fit in with dudes that turn their backs on you. Go back to, you know, there's, there's different, you know, things you can look at where these dudes that you think are your friends that you're trying to impress right now called you, I'm not even going to say it, but they called you some fucked up stuff. And you'd do anything to be their friend again. And the dude that, that showed you love, like legitimately like a you can come over here for a couple of days. Hey, you know, you need something to eat. You good? That guy? You disrespected him. You can't go back to that guy. I know if it was me that, that, that took you in and, and showed you love when everybody turned on you and you did that to me, I would laugh. And then when you, hey, hey, man, look, I'm going to, hey, that's your fault, don't Try not to call this number again, eh? Because there's nothing on this end for you, eh? There was, but you chose it wasn't good enough. You know, you can't, you can't be my friend in the dark, right? But in the light, shit on me. It doesn't work like that. So, everybody else, let that dude be a lesson for you. I don't get, I, I think the two things that blew my mind the most, well, I guess they, they combine into one, is these dudes driving in a car, this dude disrespecting the North, keep driving. One on one North, the five, anything, go North. You're feeling the type of way, at least in, the, in that car, with Southerners. That's South soldiering, big dog. That's a horrible look. It really is. I, I, don't, I just don't get it, you know, but there's that and the fact that you, you, you really disrespected somebody who was there for you. Those two things say a lot about your character, a lot about your, your mentality. It's just like I, I'm trying to like I, I, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words at this. You know, like. I don't know, man, I, I, I just don't know where like, do you ever think Swifty seriously, do you ever think where you're going to be in 10 years? Like, look at what type of money you're generating right now. How are you generating it? Are you going to be able to generate money that same way in 10 years? If it's through rap, no. Uh-uh. I don't think you generate enough now. So how you figure in 10 years when you die off even more, your, 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 your shine, whatever shine you have right now isn't going to be there in 10 years. What are you going to be doing? You don't, have, you don't have a trade to fall back on. You don't have any skills. And believe me, I want you to be around 10 years from now. But I feel like you keep doing the things you're doing. You're making too many enemies, man. They accumulate. Friends come and go. Enemies accumulate. They don't forget. You probably will. You'll forget who you dissed. They won't forget they were disrespected, though. But we're going to stay tuned. Your life is like a soap opera. It's, it's one of the, like, funniest 
cringiest novelas around, soap operas around. But you always come with some type of entertainment that just makes people, a lot of people scratch their head like, what? Huh? I mean, when you, uh, you made that, that you were on the gram and you were talking about people should stay independent and, and you know, you fucking with those labels and you weren't trying to be disrespectful. And then Chito Ranas felt a certain way about it and shot back at you. And there you are in the car with him. <laughs> and you're talking about people hundreds of miles away and the guy sitting right next to you had something to say about you. But we're supposed to forget that. We're supposed to forget that the way you forgot the person that showed you the most love when everybody turned on you. Okay. I got my popcorn, you know. I got my popcorn. You're probably going to come out and because I know for a fact I'm not going to be the only content creator. I, as it is, uh, 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 Hood Media News, I think that's what I always forget that, how to say it, right? But he already did something. I did something. I'm sure at least three or four other content creators today or tomorrow are going to do something. And then you're going to come out and you're going to talk shit like, fool. This is what you want. This is what you ask for when you do stuff like this. You're asking for attention. I'm speaking on it because, like I said, the whole diss in the north and diss in the dude that helped you and nobody else wanted to have anything to do with you. I just don't get dudes in Southern California, these rappers in Southern California talking about the North. I damn sure get upstaters, rappers that are from upstate doing it. They gangbang like that every day with them dudes. But dudes that are hundreds of miles away, hours away, like a plane flight away. And you ain't taking a gun on a plane, right? So dudes that are a plane flight away. A boat trip away. <laughs> did they make that? Did they make that train yet? They're talking about a, tr a fast ass train away. Whenever they finish building that, cell soldiering on the streets. Anyways, man, that's my video for today. It's gonna be a short one. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Swifty, tighten it up, man. Tighten it up. Get in the studio. Make some good music. Make some music people want to hear. People generate some income, man. Get some money in your pockets. Refocus. And seriously, sit down when nobody's around. And start making a plan. How are you going to make money in the three years from now? Let alone 10. Look around. Look around at the smiling faces around you. And ask yourself. Were they smiling with you six months ago, even three months ago? Were any of them talking bad about you? Were you talking bad about them? Are you sitting there around people doing drugs? Are you doing drugs with them? Is all of this conducive to wealth, productivity, positivity in your life? You got to figure that out. That's my video for today, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Everybody, please be safe, be smart, and tell the ones you love that you love them. I'm out of here.